<laughs> hey there hi my cuties how have you all been doing as always your friend gunika i've been doing awesome and i hope you guys are doing awesome too am i right give me a thumbs up right now yes ah you are raising your thumbs i am so happy to see that thank you so much a big hug yan kisi <laughs> If you are new to my channel Fun Stash let me tell you why you should subscribe it one i read aloud stories for your children this is for you mommies and daddies two you kiddos right there you are going to have a lot of fun because i'm going to have a stash of books being read aloud for you and i'm also going to do a little bit of activities with you whichever you request for or whichever i think would be useful for you and would be super duper easy for your mommies and daddies to play along yes so yes if you want all of this a fun learning for your little toddlers and not just youtube binge watching then you need to subscribe to my channel fun stash for now Let's find out which story do I have in store for you guys today. So, today I'm going to read out another story from the story book of Hanuman and I'm going to read out the story um which one should I read? I am thinking now that you know that Hanuman had crossed the ocean. Oh, you still don't know? You need to know that and for that you need to click here. Watch the story to know how Hanuman crosses the big ocean and who was the villain in that. <laughs> so yeah, it's really interesting and fun story. And what happens after Hanuman crosses the ocean would be in this story. So let's read out the burning of Lanka. So let's start reading the burning of Lanka. Hanuman had secretly arrived in Lanka and he met Sita who was Sita you remember Sita was the wife of Lord Ram king of Ayodhya Lord Hanuman was able to give Sita a message from Ram her husband Ravan heard of this who was Ravan first of all who will tell me that think 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 oh Ask your mom if you still don't know. Does she know? <laughs> I'm there to tell that. So Ravan is the king of Lanka, and he is also a ten-headed demon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he was very intelligent, so he had ten heads to himself. Yes, that's another story altogether. That will come up for you very soon too. Let's get back to the story. <laughs> so yeah, Hanuman had reached the Lanka after crossing the big ocean and he managed to meet Sita and give her the message from her husband Lord Ram. Ravan got to know about this. Let's see what happens next. He organized a hunt to capture Hanuman. Oh dear, Hanuman was caught and brought before Ravan. So, when Ravan got to know that Hanuman had given Sita a message, he was very furious and he planned to catch hanuman finally he was caught by ravan's countryman and he was brought in front of ravan when hanuman arrived at the court he was humiliated by ravan and his courtiers why was he humiliated bad very bad thing to make fun of somebody let's find out why did they humiliate hanuman Hanuman really did not care. He promptly let his tail grow by the magic he had. He made himself a tower with his tail, a huge tower round and round and round and round and round. Out of his tail, he sat atop his tail tower. I sit higher than you, Ravan," said Hanuman furiously. So when Ravan was brought in front of Ravan. Everybody started laughing at him. <laughs> and as I told you, laughing at somebody or mocking at somebody is a really bad thing to do. Yes? Do you always remember this? Yes. So why were they laughing at Hanuman? Because Hanuman had a tail, 
and humans don't have tail or even gods but hanuman had a tail and he had magic in his tail with his magic he grew his tail so big that by rounds and rounds he created a huge tower out of his tail and he sat even higher than hanuman and he said when everybody was laughing at him he said i sit higher than you ravan i sit higher than you ravan began to call ram names too bad oh dear hanuman would have none of that hanuman slapped ravan so hard that his crowns fell off and he had 10 heads all his crowns fell off <laughs> ravan was so angry that he ordered that hanuman's tail to be set on fire oh my god what happens now hanuman was not at all annoyed because he's our favorite lord hanuman the most courageous hanuman was not at all annoyed he just leapt up into the air and ran out of the palace Weaving his tail, Hanuman leapt from rooftop to rooftop, setting the mansions and palaces on fire. Soon, the whole city was in flames. Who did wrong first? Can you guess? Ravan. Ravan set Hanuman's tail on fire, which is a very bad thing to do. Yes. So Hanuman was not worried. What he did once his tail was set on fire, he started flying throughout the city, and. The entire city was in flames. Uh, Ravan watched all of this helplessly, mm. <laughs> but he couldn't do anything. All this was Ravan's fault, after all. After all, it was really stupid of him to treat Hanuman like that. Don't you agree? <laughs> so this was the little story about. how lanka was set on fire by hanuman and what led to that did you like this story if yes then i need to know i need to know through your likes i need that heart and through your comments pop pop <laughs> please do comment down below and if you still haven't subscribed to my channel you need to subscribe so that you never miss out any notification about my channel and you know what i do on this channel i read aloud fun stories for you guys full of learning and full of fun and i hope you liked this video thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please do not forget to like subscribe and comment down below thank you so much thanks for watching